Cowboy fans, this is Cowboy Legends for Life here, coming back at you with another video, and hoping that you liked the last one. And I've been, I've been sitting here pondering some things, some issues about our Cowboys, and uh, I'm sitting here pouring myself another shot of E and J. Woo! Hoo -hoo -hoo. This will last me for a good while, for some days, especially Sunday. <laughs> you know, uh, courtesy to my uh, twin brother. Uh, deal. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we, we do things like that for each other, you know. So um, uh, I've been thinking that that I had never did what everybody else been doing was, and that was talk about Earl Thomas. I don't think I have. Maybe once, but primarily have not ever talked about him. One thing for certain, I want to tell you this is that you know, coming into the season with that game coming up on Sunday, I'm thinking that. <laughs> We really do may really need Tyrell Thomas. You know, I, I, I'm getting a bit nervous. I know that. I'm, I'm very hopeful for my boys. I I'm always are and am. But um, I, I'm telling you, um, uh, I just feel that we could have had a chance to get Earl Thomas. I know that the I know that the uh, Seattle Seahawks just just shitted on Jerry and uh, and the Cowboys and stuff and um, made him think that a second would be just enough. But now they want a first. And then if you think about it. I'm expecting the Cowboys have a big year, and I'm, I stayed at 11 and five or 12 and four, and uh, and if they do get 11 and five, even 10 and six, the pick they get for the coming season is not going to be a big pick because they're going to be probably, I don't know, 20 something. So and you, when you think about that, at least at least maybe even up to, to 27 or 20 or 30, you never know. So maybe just maybe that that pick is not going to mean, mean much because when you think about all the firsts we did have a pick, and then all those firsts that Jerry Jones gave away for players that never uh, um, amounted to much for us, except for maybe one that was um, Charles Haley. Okay, when you think about that, all right, that uh, going through history, watching the Cowboys from an early age, right, third, fourth, and fifth on were always the better picks for us than it was first and seconds, and that's a fact. I mean, only a first only um, panned out very well. I mean, Roger Staubach, for one, that was the first pick. That panned out. Tony Dorsett was the first pick. That panned out. And some a few others, you understand? Notable, notable others. But most, for the most part, first-round draft picks did not really pan out for us. Now, I'm hoping Van Der Esch will, and I believe he will. He will pan out for us. And you had Taco Charden. Taco Charden starting to pan out now. So we don't know what that will be. But we, he's starting to pan out now. So you see where I'm going with this. So with that... I'm thinking that for third and, and fourth and fifths have always been a better pick for us. And that's a fact. I can go down to D.D. Lewis, to Leroy Harris, to, to uh, oh my God, I can go. I mean, even the, some of the walk-ons have been great dynamite players for Tony Romo, uh, Drew Pearson. It goes on and on, you understand? So, I mean, what's the big deal about giving up at first for a, a, a one of the greatest safeties in football? You know what I'm saying? That could have been a good thing. I mean, think about it. I, if we got him, and we got 12 and 4, I, that's, that, to me, that may be a lock for a Super Bowl chance, you understand? Or a Super Bowl appearance. So, the pick for the first, next year, for a first would be very minimal for us. I mean, we, we, like I said, we'd be more successful with the three and fourth and fifths. So, what, the, what are the chances are that getting a chance to get Earl Thomas with the first pick? I think that Jerry Jones and the rest of them should really think about that. Think about giving up their first pick for Earl Thomas before the season starts. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe the, maybe the Seattle Seahawks are so angry that they just shined us so they can just just, just, they can just save face. You know what? I don't think that's going to save their season. I really don't because of what they did. And I don't, I don't, I, and ever since that Super Bowl 49, I believe it was, in 49, I have never liked Pete Carroll. I liked him when he was even with the, with the Jets and they had a bad team, was pretty much. But I still liked him. Okay, when he went up here in New York. But I can't stand Pete Carroll now since that Super Bowl when he would not give that ball to, uh, uh, to Marshawn Jeff, Marshawn Lynch. Okay, uh, Legion of Boom, rather. Um, Pete Carroll just sucks to me. So, they've been, since they've been angry with um, uh, this man, uh, this man for, for going to the locker room and saying, listen, come get me. They've been pissed ever since. But still, maybe even then, a first round pick would be worth him for Earl Thomas. I hope they think about that. I don't know what you guys think, but you should. We should think about that too.